The situation in Yellowstone National Park has once again shaken the world, with the second explosion of one of the world's most famous geysers, Old Faithful, seemingly unstoppable. Causing it to produce a stream of waste heat that damages nearby pavement, causing environmental and road safety problems. Geologists are therefore curious to know what exactly is going on beneath all these hot springs and geysers. Unfortunately, a recent study revealed the serious impacts of changes to Yellowstone Park that have begun to seriously disrupt the existence of the park. UNM scientists collect magma beneath the Yellowstone caldera scientists have long been fascinated by Yellowstone National Park and the scientific playground it has provided for the research community for decades. Seismic tomography has played an important role in providing research scientists with deep insights into the Yellowstone crustal magmatic system regarding subsurface melt distribution and current stages of the volcano's life cycle with the help of new tomographic images showing wave velocities. Yellowstone magmatic system scientists are gaining new insight into what's happening beneath Yellowstone. The caldera is sometimes referred to as the Yellowstone supervolcano Yellowstone. The current caldera in northwestern Wyoming is filled with rivers that are 70,000 years old. Based on geophysical observations, it is clear that the modern Yellowstone magmatic system is still active, but questions remain regarding the volume and distribution of melt and its comparison with conditions before previous eruptions. Long-term curiosity is what lies behind at Yellowstone today said Brandon Schmand, a professor in the Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences at the University of New Mexico. You can walk on the surface and see vast expanses of lava eruptions and hydrothermal activity, but it's difficult to know the extent of the melt several kilometers deep in the Earth's crust. Currently scientists are observing the emergence of continental magma reservoirs involving zones of liquid crystal mush that are partly dominated by crystals that can survive on Earth. The Earth's crust on a long-term scale of 100,000 years or more, but these melt-rich zones can erupt in a relatively short time, namely thousands of years or less. From the perspective of this press, rapidly erupting layers of molten silica could accumulate near the top of the Earth's crust. Crystalline zones before an eruption occurs as a result of subsurface imaging's ability to determine the presence or absence of melt-rich zones near the top of a magma reservoir can be an important indicator of where Yellowstone is currently in the middle of its eruptive work cycle with mentors including Schman and Minan in the Earth Science Department and Environment at Michigan State University. In wave velocities associated with silicate magma in Yellowstone Reservoir, McGuire is now an assistant professor at the University of Illinois Champaign-Urbana integrating data from several different time periods and applying more sophisticated methods to obtain additional information on existing data and gain new insights about the data. The Magma Reservoir Beneath the Yellowstone Caldera